Uh, hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today in this video, I'm going to develop the library and the book services. Okay, so let's get started. Come to IntelliJ. So uh, with the book service, I'm going to use the my, uh, this PostgreSQL as a database. And for the library service, I'm going to use the MySQL as a database. And in the earlier one, uh, we have used the MySQL as a database for the uh, student service. So this is about the databases. So let me create the project. So let's say it is book service, book service. Okay. And uh, let me map here. So we are creating this thing inside the project. Okay. So yeah, go next. Let me use the Lombok here and uh, this is for the PostgreSQL. So I'm going to use the PostgreSQL database here. So for that we need the PostgreSQL driver and I'm, I need to use the GPA as well. So this is all the dependency that I know, need as of now. Later on when we try to register this with the Lombo, sorry, register with this uh, Eureka, we need the Eureka client and uh, so whatever dependency we need later on, I will uh, try to add those things. So let me create this. Okay, it is created. Let me open in a new tab. It will take few seconds to configure itself till I'm going to create the other service which is which is a library service. So let me create library service. Okay, go next. I will include like I'm going to use the MySQL as a database in this. So I will include this MySQL driver and uh, other dependency what I need to use is web and GPA. So this these are the starter dependency that I need to use. Okay, let me open in a new tab. So let me go to the let me close this one. Let me go to the book service. So okay, it is not configured as a my one project. There is a problem with my IntelliJ. So let me close this and then reopen that again so that it will open like a Maven project. So it is a book service. Let me open in a new tab. Let me do the same for the library. Let me see if the library is configured or not. So, okay, let me do the same thing. Okay, so for book service, it is giving us a prompt to load a Maven project and let me come to the library it will give here for the library as well so let me load it to the maven project so here you can see it is loaded now coming to the java i'm going to create couple of packages so i'm following the mvc pattern so i'm going to create the entity repository service and repo and uh, service and controller so let me create the controller now controller okay sorry let me go here and right click and then create new controller okay uh, the same architecture I'm going to follow in the book service also so let me copy this and then come here to the book service and sorry let me cancel this come to the source go to the main java and let me come here and paste these all things okay so it is created now coming to the book i'm going to create the entity class and then i will create the repo and then i will create the service and controller so let me create the book entity let me create some instance here so let me create the book id 
so let's say it is of integer type id and let me create the name uh, let me create the author name and let me create the price here okay so I'm using the ID ID is ID okay and it should be auto generated so for that I'm using the generated value strategy is identity and uh, let me put the semicolon here here I'm going to use this uh, as a like with the help of Lombok I'm going to call this all argument constructor no argument constructor and uh, data for the getter and setter and we have this entity and we need to have the table here so let me give the name of the table to book something like book so we are done with the development of the entity class coming to the repository let me create the book repo as an interface okay add it uh, let me extend with the JPA repository and let me to or add this arguments here so we need to provide the entity and the ID type of entity which is of integer type let me import this class here so we need to import this and uh, what I need to do now I need to go to the service and then create a book service class here book service okay service and uh, here I will try to implement couple of methods so before going to the implementation of the method let me annotate this class with the at the rate service annotation and now with the help of uh, I need to auto add the book repo here because with the help of a uh, book repo with, with the help of the JPA provider method I'm going to call uh, the insert and uh, then get map methods of the JPA so that is why I'm going to use the book repo here let me auto wire that so private book repo book repo and let me create the method of one is to get book by id and another is to insert the book into the database so let me go here let me create the public let its return type be book and coming here let me pass the id let me import the book here and coming here let me use this book repository and with the help of book repository there is a method called get uh, sorry find by id so I am going to use that method find by id and I will pass the id here which we are providing in the form of argument and then simply return this so what it will do it will uh, create the book and sorry it will get the book from the database and then it will uh, return us okay similarly I'm going to create the method to insert the book record into the database so let's say insert book and here we need to pass the book reference so book uh, let me pass it and we are going to change uh, the method here so I'm going to use the same method of the JPA and pass the book reference here. So this is about this two method that I created. Coming to the controller class, let me create the book controller here. So let's say it is book controller. Let me uh, annotate it with the rest controller and request mapping. Let me map this to the book. okay now coming here let me create a get mapping okay and let me map uh, this is a get mapping and we are finding the book by id so i'm mapping this like uh, i'm mapping 
with the book and then I'm providing the ID as a path variable so let me create the method for it get book by ID something like that and then uh, it should be public type and its return type should be book so let me create that and here I need to pass the ID what we are passing into the form of uh, path variable so these things let me use the path variable annotation here and uh, let me auto wire the service repository service yeah book service class reference here so I'm going to auto wire it here so let's say it's a book reference and book reference with the help of the book reference I'm going to call those methods that we have created so uh, there is a two method one is to get the book by ID and I'm passing the ID here and one another method is to insert the book into the database so let me return this so it will work now uh, let me create the post mapping here so come here copy add, and then paste it so let me uh, change this to the post mapping and here what I'm going to do I'm going to ins uh, map the URL like insert and let me change it here insert book something like that and here I'm going to pass as a request body and pass the reference of the book so let me do that it's a re request body and here we need to pass the reference of the book so let me create that book and book reference so that is what I need to do and I'm going to call the method that we have created so it is an insert method that we have created into the uh, service class so I'm using that okay and returning it so this is the two thing that I need to do so we are done with the development of the uh, API's for the book now coming to the resource I'm going to uh, use the application YML file for the configuration of the database so let me create that file first application.yml and I already have the configuration listed out here so I'm going to use this so let me copy this from here I will provide all this configuration in the git repository so from there like I will push the git repo for all of the services so you can uh, use that link and then you can uh, from there you can get it so don't worry about it so come to the book service coming to the application yml file i'm just uh, the the first service uh, we are we are uh, hosting on 9091 let me host this on 9093 and then uh, second one uh, library service that i'm going to create let me host on the 9092 okay coming here uh, this is the URL for the database uh, the post uh, postgresql database that I'm going to use this is my database name and this is the username and password and this is to show the query that it that is fired this SQL so is to show the uh, fired query in the log files and this is to automatically create some uh, uh, let's say some SQL commands so if I will run this application that it, then it will automatically create the table for us so let me show you that and uh, uh, coming to the database let me show you what all the tables I have so I came here and you can see this is my database that I used in the URL and I came here in the table section of it you can come to the schema and then come to the table you can see this many tables I have okay let me go uh, to the application and run the application and then I will show you that the book table uh, it will be created there so let me run this application and then I will show you so once it is done we are uh, good with the development of the book service and then after that I will be going to develop the library service and then I will uh, in the next video I will show you how we can call uh, each services inside the other service okay so let me wait here so it is up on 9093 port number and come to the postgresql you can come here and let me refresh the table section here and uh, you can see uh, the book query uh, book table is created here and you can come to the book service and come down you can see here this hibernate query is uh, fired so with the help of this configuration 
uh, we are firing the Hibernate query with the help of this configuration and this is uh, what it is showing the SQL Hibernate query. So this is about uh, the book service. Now let me create the library service and after that I will uh, I will try to call the book service inside the library service and then library service inside the student service. So and then we'll try to register each of them to the Eureka server and then we'll implement the API gateway. So this is about uh, this video. Let me create the library service in the next video. Okay, so if you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel.